Hi everybody, Paul here from Ballistic Blood Bullets with a Foo fantasy flick of epic proportions, a sequel to one of the very best martial arts fantasy movies I've seen in quite a long time. It is the 4-2-3-D. That's a lot of numbers, but they all add up to a great, great movie. Really pleased to have this one. Those who are regulars on the channel would have watched a recent video from a couple of weeks back from me with the original movie, The Four, which was really, really a very cool film. And uh, picked that one up on DVD, and a very nice DVD it is as well. But as soon as I realised that uh, The Four was to be a trilogy of movies, I just had to look into it more and very, very pleased to have discovered that the sequel had been made. The original was from 2012 and the sequel quickly followed a year later, 2013, with all the same cast, pretty much the same crew and the same very sound action martial arts director, Gordon Chan. Uh, this Blu-ray 3D movie is, unfortunately, just as a downside, this is going to be the only downside from this, I can tell you, because I really love this film, but uh, the film is curiously, literally, a 3D Blu-ray only issue on Blu-ray, it seems. Um, so what I'm saying is that uh, you get a 3D movie, which is absolutely fantastic, but there's no 2D version on the Blu-ray as well, which is quite unusual. So if you are picking this one up and you want it in 3D, uh, please do be aware that uh, you get what you're paying for, and that is the 3D version of the film. It is the only version of the film on this Blu-ray 3D release. And also there's very little in extras. Uh, there literally is only a trailer of the film that uh, complements the film itself, which is a real contrast to the DVD, which came with a lot of extras behind the scenes, making of trailers, coming attractions, and uh, lots of bios and what have you, information about the film. Uh, so quite surprised considering that it's... Uh, on Blu-ray that we do get just the film. But anyway, that's enough of the downsides. Uh, that really is small fry because they make up for it by delivering a truly epic movie that is just knock your socks off goodness. Really is a very, very good movie indeed. Uh, it's a fantasy, fantastical fantasy movie, martial arts film that truly does come alive in this 3D version. Looks stunning, and the transfer and the picture, depth and quality is very, very impressive. Truly an entertaining and engaging film with fantastical elements throughout, brought to life by very, very well done CGI. None of the hokey stuff, it's really money well spent. And it also mixes it uh, up with some impressive backdrops and practical effect artisan constructs and sets to complement the film as a whole. So a great mix of quality, artisan production and some very well integrated CGI as well. So that's the front of the Blu-ray and there we have all of the main stars of the film itself and uh, head up there by Anthony Wong in the top right of the recording there and of course this is the Divine Constabulary all returning again from the impressive first movie. Well, let's just have a look around the Blu-ray itself, just turn and have a look at the back and of course also very very pleased to say that this is an all region region free 3D Blu-ray disc so you can pick this one up and you will be able to play it on your player which is absolutely very very important of course but I'm very pleased to say that uh, this is the case 
We do get it, of course, in glorious full 1080p definition, and uh, it's a 2351 aspect ratio film, and it comes in a 5.1 digital surround sound track as well. And uh, of course, it is original Cantonese language. I think you can also select Mandarin as well, but uh, whichever you choose, they do both come replete with very well done English subtitles as well. Now, curiously, uh, with the, the quality of the 3D, of course, what we have when we're reading the subtitles is a slight distraction away from the true quality and uh, beautiful aspects of that 3D. But uh, it's uh, one thing that I learned a long time ago watching foreign films and uh, enjoying them in their original language is to speed read. <laughs> but I think this is a film that you'll watch more than once. So watching it the first time, getting the story, reading through obviously the subtitles, getting a feel for it. The next time you watch it, it will be even more impressive. Eye candy, fantastical, beautiful, beautiful picture quality. And this is definitely a film that you can watch more than once. Really, really is a such a stunning film to look at with very, very impressive 3D effects. Now let's uh, also just uh, put side to side with the 3D Blu-ray, the disc as well. As well. And uh, very nice to see that uh, we do have some very nice picture artwork on the Blu-ray as well. Always very agreeable. So uh, again, that's a nice added touch. Uh, something very, very cool to go with the purchase that we have made. And uh, also, as well, just before I forget, we've had a look on the front and back, but uh, also internally we do get, which is reasonably rare with a uh, standard Blu-ray release, but so uh, we do get some interior artwork as well. And uh, again, we have a representation there of the main characters from the film that form mostly part of the Divine Constabulary. So very, very cool all around as far as packaging and design is concerned, so we're not being cheated there in any respect at all. Very, very pleased to say. And uh, just to very quickly touch on the film itself, so we know what we're getting, uh, I do highly recommend people to watch the first film, of course, first. Anybody wanting to pick up this purely on its own will be a little bit lost because there is an important amount of backstory that uh, does get uh, touched upon in this sequel. Now the fo movie, the movie, <laughs> the movie itself follows on from the first as just touched upon and the constabulary of Department 6 are still being insidiously manipulated and corrupt forces of evil are conspiring. And they are conspiring to bring down, of course, the Divine Constabulary. And what they are doing is framing its leader, played brilliantly once again by Anthony Wong. He is charged with murder, and along with his loyal aide, emotionless, the lovely young woman who depends on a special wheelchair as an extension of her own special powers to get about. The two are imprisoned and sentenced to death. Now, within the ranks of the Divine Constabulary, there are doubts arising over their two friends and companions, but together the true evil is discovered and outed, leading to a final third act in the movie of superb, supreme fighting effects and edge of the seat entertainment that will just leave you aghast. Really fabulous, fabulous stuff. Great, great edge of the seat entertainment par excellence. 
This is an impressive follow-up, to say the least, and at the very least is as good, if not even better, than the first movie before. We learn more about these engaging characters, their powers, and their dark and interesting pasts. An emotionless connection to Anthony Wong's character, who again reveals more about his own apparent inherent abilities in this film, pleased to say. But it's emotionless connection to Anthony Wong's character that really is laid bare. And the past of Emotionless catches up, intertwined with Anthony Wong's character in a jaw-dropping revelation that blows all apart that has gone before and leaves events on a cliffhanger closure. Now it's interesting that uh, using that term cliffhanger because there are lots of aspects of this film that really have me at moments thinking back to the 1930s serializations of those great cliffhanger programs like Flash Gordon. It's not a Flash Gordon film, it's obviously a martial arts movie, but I think when you watch the film you'll get a feel for what I'm trying hard to explain, but it definitely has those elements, real Saturday afternoon matinee action, fantastical events, and those cliffhanger moments. And this has them in abundance as well. Really very, very cool indeed. And all I can say, or all I definitely will say in the closure, on a very much a high note, is bring on the 4-3. <laughs> This was definitely a 9 out of 10 pure pleasure viewing enjoyable movie. Highest recommendation. If you've seen this one, if you've seen the first one now, please do let me know what your thoughts are of it. I think that you will enjoy both and I really do highly recommend checking them out. Thank you very much for watching. Please do leave your comments below. If you'd like to know more about it, I would be very happy indeed to chat more about this one. But until next time, take care everybody. See you all soon. Bye for now.